So you want to be a picture book writer, then you got to write picture books. And you're going to need a bucket load of bright ideas for titles, plots, and hooks. If you're partial to prose or you're raring to rhyme, then repeat after me. It's a challenge, but I'm going to tackle each story one month at a time with 12 by 12. Um, another thing in design is turning your constraints into advantages. When things are too open-ended, it actually makes it harder to design. So understanding your constraints for a given category. So if you know what age you're targeting, what do kids this age think about, care about, worry about, laugh about, dream about, like really hone in on that. What is the goal of your book? Are you trying to entertain? Are you trying to enlighten? And being very clear about what you're constraints are will make it easier to craft your book. Also, how will this be, book be read with a grown-up by themselves? This all comes into like, how is this book being experienced and what do you want that experience to be? And are you are you designing toward that or writing toward that? <laughs> so a note about complexity. This is my shorthand for how I think about different categories and the level of complexity that should be targeted for those different categories. So when I think about a picture book, I actually think about it as a poem. I feel like picture books are so tight in their words, but need to be so rich and evocative that I think of them like a poem. They just have to be perfectly constructed with a full arc and richness to them. Early readers, I feel, are more like skits or vignettes. They're like little playful stories. They don't need to be as layered or as complex. Graphic novels, I think of like plays because they're so heavily dialogue and you're staging how the characters move through the space. They work a lot like a play to me. Chapter books are like TV episodes because chapter books are often series. They're, they're like episodes in your favorite TV show. Like one chapter book kind of is an episode. So you have one arc in there, but you might have an ongoing story that goes through all of them or it might be a standalone. And then I think of novels as movies, but I've never written a novel or I have, but I've never finished one. <laughs> but that's how I think of it. Some So when you're writing, think about how many characters, story arcs, themes, and plot lines make sense for your format. How simple and complex should it be? Okay, I'll look at some categories and examples. Everything I wrote in the first three years started off as a picture book, and many of them turned into something else. And I'm going to talk about why some of them turned into the categories they did. So first I'm going to talk about picture books, which I'm calling the gateway drug to writing. So I started off wanting to write picture books as many of us do. It's beloved format. We read with our kids. Picture books are probably how you got or will get your agent. It's hard to get an agent with a board book, but picture books or middle grade or YA are usually the, the ways to get an agent. They're perfectly polished and precise very competitive space, usually 32 to 40 pages, full page size, illustrated where the illustrations often go beyond the meaning of the text, often under 500 words with many exceptions. They're expensive and they generally target ages three to seven. I know you know all this, but I'm laying the land. Um, so I'm going to talk about my upcoming picture book and how it got there and why it's a picture book and not, not nothing else. <laughs> so basically I have this idea. There's a glitch, there's a hitch, something screwy with a switch. This line was stuck in my head. I wrote it down. It sat there for a couple years. I thought it was going to be a STEM book. And then one day I started writing a book about these Halloween monsters that were like trying to save Halloween. And I felt like this line fit. And so I started writing this book and there were a couple things. I added this like interactive twist at some point where you have to turn the book to save the day. And my agent suggested, oh, I like that. Can you do that on every page? Sometimes you need to develop a new skill to complete a project the way it needs to be completed. And you can do it. I do this all the time. I didn't start off as an illustrator. Now I illustrate and I have to learn how to illustrate in different ways to meet the project where it needs to be. For this book, you know, I had this line, there's a glitch, there's a hitch, something screwy with the switch. I've never written in rhyme before. So I had to learn how to rhyme. So I took Rene Latulipe's Lyrical Language Lab. I worked on rhyming. I worked on this manuscript. It 
took a long time. And then with this interactive note from my agent, I studied a lot of interactive picture books. And there are not that many, but looking at how they did it, how does it mechanically work, and studying those mentor texts to figure out what elements I could pull into my book. And of course, all of this kind of stayed squarely in the picture book lane. It's rhyming, interactive books lean young for little kids to press on things, twist the book, blow on the book. And so this is The Boo Crew Needs You, which comes out this fall with source books illustrated by Sarah C. Liu. Sorry, I'm messing up her name. And just a peek at a couple pages. What a sight. It's a fright. This will ruin our great night. There's disasters left and right. It's a zoo too. Nothing's going right at all. Will this wreck the monster ball? Quick, press here to make a call for the Boo Crew. And then the little kid presses. Ring-a-ling, here's the gang. This is Luna, Bones, and Fang. What's the problem? Someone rang. We're the Boo Crew. When the monsters see the mess, they are overcome with stress. Will you help them? Please shout yes to the Boo Together so never you fear. It's a handy little way to help you kick into gear. You're amazing, exciting. Look out, cause you're writing. 12 by 12. 12 manuscripts. 12 by 12. 12 picture books. 12.